Hey guys, Doc Holiday here. So today I'm going to uh, do a shorter version of the taming of the giant, this uh, gorilla, the Gigantopithecus. Uh, somebody asked me in the stream last night to do a shorter version, show how to do a good tame. So I'm gonna go out and tame one. Anyways, let's go over the checklist you need before you take off. You need to have some mayo berries because they're do they are on a passive tame. You have to walk up behind them and like feed them like you do the uh, dolphins, the ickies. So you need to have uh, plenty of water in case it takes long. Food for yourself, obviously. Um, some protection, you know, pike or something, and some mayo berries. Plenty of them. Depending on the level you have, depends on how many times you gotta feed them, how fast it'll go, and so forth. Alright, I'm gonna go look for one, and uh, when I find one, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. I finally found one. Lord have mercy. Uh, I died and everything trying to look for one of these things. Got in fight, a foot fight with a 109 Alpha Raptor, and it fucking killed me. Anyways, uh, I'll show you how to do this. Equip uh, these bad boys to zero in your hot bar. Do not look at him in the eye. So the key here is, just like you're gonna see me do here, to walk up behind it and kind of like, uh, basically you don't want him to look at you. Okay, so now he's taming. You press up behind him. And you go up behind him and press E. It'll highlight green or uh, blue, and then see like right now it says, uh, "Wait till he's hungry again." You have to do this very, very carefully. If he gets pissed, you have to wait till he deagros to start over again. So and you don't want to miss the the hungry phase. So um, I'll let you watch the whole thing um, just because so you can see how I do this. And uh, we'll be good to go. Pardon that, that message uh, that you just heard. Sorry about that. Alright, he's not hungry yet. So it's just a level 20. We'll go through the uh, the entire team here. It shouldn't take more than probably five whole minutes. So you just gotta not, just make sure that you don't disturb it. You don't want to get too close. You don't want him to look at you. Um, just you know and, and they're really really super powerful so you have to be very careful with him takes time just takes time you can use kibble for him I did not make kibble I wanted to just show you how to do it with the berries so um, and I don't know what type of kibble they like right off the bat. So. But you can Google these things. Okay, I fed him again. There we go. And I know it's kind of hilarious. Like, how do you feed something from behind like that? Like, are you, like, reaching around and shoving it in his mouth? Or what are you doing? I don't, I don't exactly know how this passive teaming works. But it works! Let's see how many levels we're going to get off of him. Only nine. This takes a few minutes. Now, if you're on a regular server, they do take a while. Do not knock them out with arrows. It does not fucking work. Um, do not build a house around them. That doesn't work either. Um, like, you can't knock it out with arrows, build a house around it, and wait till it wakes up and feed it. It just doesn't work that way. Um, when they first came out, I tried all sorts of different shortcuts and all sorts of that kind of jazz nature but this is the best effective way to do it it's the behind the back method and he's not hungry yet lord have mercy okay, he might be hungry now he just took shit nope 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 oh goodness so, just gotta wait it out be patient my strategy is I like to wait till he's first stops and then you know he's, he walks and then he stops like this okay so 
And this is what we don't want. We won't. We don't want him to go up in the bushes over here, because then he can just find food for himself, and it will take longer. So if you're gonna find one and tame it, you want to try to find it like in some open area or some around or harvest all the bushes around it, so it can't eat. So you, it'll have to eat what you put in it when it's time to eat. Okay, just took another shit. So, until he stops. Check on him. Not hungry yet. I think in a couple more steps here, he's gonna be hungry. Okay, now he's probably hungry. Nope, nope, nope. So fucking nerve wracking because they're so goddamn powerful. Oh! And that's what happens. I got too fucking close to so I'll go get on my bird and wait till he de aggros. So there you saw it firsthand what not to do. We'll wait till he de aggros. If I can find him again. There he is. Okay, so he's de aggroed. I'll start this. I don't know how far back down he went. Me. Time to feed again. Eat. Okay. He ate again. So it didn't go down far. I don't know how many levels we lost off of it though. Which sucks, but it's okay. So that's what you see how you cannot get too close to them. They'll get pissed off at you. They, didn't, they uh, they like their personal space, man. Fill the old canteens up here. I'm trying to make this as short as possible. That's so why I went and found the lower level one instead versus a higher one. So you can watch the entire tame process. Like I'm not going to cut any of this out. I like them because they are super powerful. They're fast. They collect fiber and berries. And they kill shit. So you'll never be without food if you're on one. Because they can collect berries. And the way you collect fiber with them is you put them like in a patch of grass or bushes and uh, hop off of them and he'll just start collecting it on his own. Same with the Dodicarus, like you just park a Dodicarus near a rock and uh, oh see there we tamed him. There's the dossier for him, he did a good job. Um, but the Dodicarus, um, same thing, park it near a rock and let it go and it'll smash the rock next to it and collect them for you automatically. So this bad boy is a 29, so we got nine levels out of them. And uh, you can put helmets on them. Like uh, so, I'll show you. So you can take this off me. Go into his menu and put it on him. See, fucking badass. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or any other teams you want me to show you, um, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Appreciate it so much, guys. Later.